he will try to reset anyway right now. We will be re looking to reset along with him. We make this wave handshake. How you make a wave handshake is basically you kill it before the next wave. Now you need to reset. If you stay, you lose tempo. Because if you crash the next incoming wave, yes, the moment you will be resetting, Yasuo is gonna be on the lane already. Welcome guys, it's x Mojo. This time against Yasuo matchup, but with way more confidence. Elo is Diamond 1, exactly Diamond 1. We are playing way different setup. This time it's a Electrocute, guys. With a Dark Seal start. Full confidence this time. I'm gonna show you something really cool. It's basically gonna be the Tempo Kasadin build without the tier. So stay with me. You're definitely not gonna regret it. Runes are of course on the screen, right? Matchup is quite chill early. It's just a matter of staying consistent with CS. Try to get as many as possible, not much to do. Early on Yasuo is gonna prevent Kane from getting there to the Kha'Zix jungle. That's pretty normal. Let's pop some mana. Right now don't push. If the wave pushes into Yasuo, it's over. So I'm really, really hoping that the guy will keep on pushing. I would love uh, that. I made a mistake here, but luckily I didn't get punished. I misclicked a bit. Let's work like this to provide some kind of value for the team. The worst that can happen this matchup will be if... If the wave will push into the guy. So I'm really careful if I'm not, sho if I'm not shoving that much. Because that's the most important. If you push into this guy and the wave bounces toward him, it's over. He will just zone you. You will get destroyed. Till level 6, we need to su survive. After level 6, it's completely... It's way more chiller, let's say. It's gonna be Emax. Right now, 16 to 23 CS, which is completely healthy and okay. Itemization is crown into the Rabadon or Lich Bane. We'll see, maybe even Zonias. Actually, I will go Zonias. It's uh, Kajix Yasuo, so we can get some armor. But I'm still putting a lot of importance on the wave clear. On the burst, on the damage input, not wave clear, my bad. He warded, so it's good to know the team. I'm missing some free minions, I completely agree. Remember, just stay cool, stay calm. It's normal. What's going on here? This is so a bit tries, but for now I'm okay, actually. The Reddit user was right, I can maintain uh, the Dark Seal. Greetings for you, bro. I'm mentioning you two videos in a row. Hopefully you're watching this. From the level 6 it's gonna get easier because then we just gotta dodge his tornado and we can contest some traits finally. I will soon reset, for now I can still maintain a bit longer. As well we are playing Lost Chapter to get our power spikes faster into the game. I will ward here, just to have a bit more clue about the guy whenever he crashes into me. Every minion is an imposter of yours, remember your minions are legit imposters, so be careful how you woke up and stuff. Don't gank this. I was looking if my cane will gank, but he shouldn't. In general. Okay. I can't get this one. And I can't get this one either. This one I can Okay. I'm 6. I could have auto-attacked him, but I was too slow. Wood. One, this is probably our last wave, then we'll look to reset efficiently. It's so far okay. I'm in my peak time soon. After I reset, I can start looking for some contesting on the guy with the electrocute. Or even doing something like this, because that's only I can do in my safe zone, nowhere else. So in your safe zone we can actually trade Yasuo quite well. This last wave, it's a bit getting out of the control. And the guy have ignite, so that just 
Last wave. He might flash on me. Okay, fine. We reset with TP and we keep the guy hostage on the lane. Hopefully I can make it in time. Play TP. Uh, go Ruby to be more tanky. I dept it. Now I walk. I shouldn't pull. I'm just gonna get it fast and then I try to stop his reset basically. So now I try to stop his reset. That's really important. We TP it to prevent his tempo. So now we are looking for him. It's fine. I will maintain. And I have an advantage. He will still look to reset because I have items. And I had more sustain so I went for this trade. But I have to be careful. My, my E needs to let go. He will try to reset anyway right now. We will be re looking to reset along with him. We make this wave handshake. How you make a wave handshake is basically... You kill it before the next wave. Now you need to reset. If you stay, you lose tempo. Because if you crash the next incoming wave, Yas the moment you will be resetting, Yasuo is gonna be on the lane already. The moment you reset, he will already reach here. Push this wave and then he will have room timer to dive your bot lane. So now we reset it on the handshake wave to match his pace. That's insanely important concept in your games. Look, now I'm at the same time, you see? Really important. I have a bit too much mana, so I wait. He goes Botrk, I think, or Kraken. Now we can start trading slowly into this guy, which is cool. Because he doesn't probably expect me to do the things that I'm planning to do. Which is basically trade, quick trading. Quick trades. This annoying Senna. Could go in on her for a moment, but she has sustain and stuff. I mean, she's taxing XP. That's a bit trolling by her. I expect me getting Qs for free. It's fine. I'm a bit losing health for free. She's annoying. I'm not gonna disagree. Never mind. It was not enough to one-shot her. I should have waited for my electrocute, but I just wanted to go with that. I don't know. I just wanted to go hard on her. Generally, she's trolling because she's taxing Yasuo. If I didn't die, it would be all good. Now it's terrible. But I wanted to get her down. If I waited for electrocute, it would be mine. Kajix is coming. Okay, Kajix is not coming. It's not that bad. I'm still fine. Oh, she just pushed all. Oh. TFT only. It's fine. It's not that I'm that behind, but... Are we gonna look to dive the gene now on the next wave push? Or something, I will see. Push, just push. Run. That's only thing I could do for you, bro. She actually did quite well. I'm not sure if I could have helped her or not. I'm gonna stay. I have fruit. And the wave is coming. And I'm on double kill. Four stacks on the dark seal. Amazing. I might get a cannon in time if I'm lucky. No. We, we are back in the game, so that's good. You saw the proactivity was so important there. Ah, fuck you. It was close. No. Just don't come, bro. Chillax, chillax. I mean, that's on me. Oh, I don't like this because it's not like Yasuo is dying. I'm the only one dying, so I'm falling behind. This is just not worth, guys. This is just simply not worth because I'm not XP efficient because of that. I didn't want her to help me because now they get a lot. Like the matchup is easy. Go Leech Bane. It's winnable because I'm playing tempo so I can win this game.
It's just some making cringe mistakes, that's just reality. Let's get one more wave, then we can look for some play on the map. Sadly, I'm XP deficient, that's the worst thing you can do. I really didn't want to try this fucking Yasuo. And then Kha'Zix came for me, so I just made a mistake in awareness. I will try Talia. Meanwhile, we just ward a bit. It's warded too. But now Dragon is up. But at this point, I don't... Something happened on the mid. If I was even, I could carry, but now it's a bit hard. They need to make mistakes. And since I'm not playing Crude of Ages, it is still possible to recover to this game. It just... My mistakes were quite funny, you know? They were like decisions. More of a decisions to end my game, not like out being outplayed or something. I missed cannon, but I don't care. Go check this. He got in it. Yasuo on Kraken. I have my Sorcerers soon. I will go Ionian boots this game. Or Tabais. I will go actually Steel Cups. I will go Steel Cups because they have so much... I need to cover bot just in case if something bad would happen. They need to play time. Oh no, they are clear. Maybe I can get Kha'Zix down. One for one. Nice. I wanted to get the Kha'Zix down, but I think it was worth it. Even if I was would die one for one, I don't mind, genuinely. Because Kha'Zix is worth 400 gold. I'm playing from XP behind, that screen. This Senna now, again. Nice, that's huge for me. This Senna is really not careful. I'm gonna go Sorcerer, so I don't care. I need Aura Cleanse too. Ah, I was supposed to go Zonia second. I can go Zonia, I'm lucky. Holy moly, I'm lucky. I both component that is Zonia. So I go Zonia, then I will see if I go Rabadon or if I go Lich Bane for the Ingenious Hunter. Because when you have Ingenious Hunter, when you have Ingenious Hunter, yo, it works like same with Katarina. Uh, your Leech Bane passive comes up sooner, basically. FTP is soon, so I'm just watching. I'm tipping. Get this Senna, maybe. I'm dead. That's not worth. Fuck this! It's so not worth, bro. I need to keep on running now. But I can juke a bit here. Because I have Rift Walks. Okay, good. I don't know if I had to flash, I was just a bit afraid that I will that I won't get the kill. It's winnable, definitely. But look, I'm for two, you know, you see that I'm for two with just make when when making such as two crucial mistakes, genuinely. I made like two crucial mistakes and we still get a lot and I'm like 4 to 2 so you see the cleaner you get the more chances you will have because even diamond one players bro they will fucking make ton of the mistakes like our Lux or this Yasuo right? And Zonia isn't bad either because Ingenious Hunter will make my Zonia come up faster way faster. Senna have bone plating? Yes, I can't one-shot her because of that. Kha'Zix is a bit strong. What's going on? As I said, you see bone plating OP, bro. What can I say? Senna main Reddit. David Eduardo Kusek on Senna. Okay, I reset, because otherwise Kha'Zix might get a pick on me. We are slowly getting even in the game. The main fight will have a place around the, the dragon, possible to contest. We can as well give it, but bro, I need you, I need you. I need you to be proactive. We are losing, we are fucking losing. I need you. You could be there, Kane, already. I made a mistake again here. I will just press Zonia to give some time to the Kane.
They are pigs, but Kane shouldn't prioritize getting wolves. But now Kha'Zix wipes him. No, guys, genuinely, this game could be fucking won. If I didn't lose, if I didn't die to this Senna, it was amazing because she would be just sharing XP with the Yasuo and then it's all good. Uh, second thing, where I died second time there with the tunnel vision, those were the most crucial fucking mistakes because I would be on zero deaths right now and one level at least higher. And they wouldn't be as strong as I made them. You know, so that's how you analyze your gameplay and that's how you improve your gameplay. Because those people, they are not fakers, as I say it on every video. It's just I made fucking crucial mistakes. That's crazy. Can I do something here, please? I have too many. I, I can't drift talk that much. Nice. I like it. My TP is faster too. Yasuo is a bit strong, so we... Ah, no, he stopped. Okay. I have Zonia, so I'm checking. Sadly, I don't have Aura Clans. She might die, I need to scout better for her. Look, Yasuo is inting, you see? I'm just covering her in case I find Kha'Zix. There is not gonna be anyone, I think. Do you think she will just troll? No. Let's reset. I don't know, I'll just go there. I, let me go bot, I can handle Talia better than you. So I'm 6-3, even though I inted this game hard. 16 devs bot lane. But it doesn't matter, bro. It, it really does not matter. It's only about what you can do in those games. Legit. Let's hope she will face check me. Does she knows that I scanned this thing? I mean, she knew. She knows. I need to go there. If I stay bot, they go Nashor. I don't know if Kane is tilted. This guy is typing like a beta all the time. What is they, what they are doing? This is ours. I'm ready for that play. Nice, well played. No, 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 no. We don't do it. We have probably not enough damage with current setup. Or we can, we'll see. I just wanna... We need to turn. And I need to turn Talia. Don't. Don't do it, we'll win. Just play slower. We need to play in two minutes for the dragon. That's for sure. Uh, okay, let's reset. The main play is around the Nash or in two minutes the main play will switch to being a dragon. That's how the map works. I'm going purely for AP. The one sh Shin proc for 70 damage doesn't matter. This is way better because it gives you 30 AP and all of your spells sp scale with AP logically. It's stronger than 70 fucking basic damage from the scene, you know what I mean? It's quite simple math. I would normally go deeper bot lane, but I'm trying to cover the Nashor, and that's what Gwenu should be doing. But those people are not enough proactive, and I would actually contest them. I would look. But I can't go with her, so I need to give the Nashor. Ah, they are just picking us, never mind. I have limited amount of jumps, but they just do it. I can't change it. I'm gonna get this and I go away. Not much more to do. They got picked, but it's crazy. I just need to move on, but I'm really angry on my mistakes. I need to really, really, really play and play and play because the more you play, the more you memorize those mistakes and the more consistent you become. Okay, I got it. Please tell me no one is dying. Please tell me you are not limit testing when five people are going for you. Please tell me you are not limit testing, bro. No need to limit test at the moment. I TP there because he will die. And if he dies, we give the soul for free. So I have to cover him. There are five people coming generally. No, never mind. But I cover this at least. I'm dead? No. Okay, I secured him. But it's rough. This Kha'Zix just bought full map of Malmortius and he's smurfing in the game. Nice. They do it. Yo, pure jule, co tu się dzieje? What the fuck is going on, bro? Kha'Zix taken away from the dragon. Nice, nice. Wiping, wiping. Ah, they got soul, but it's Agwen TP top. I mean, okay. 
At 16 I can win with these dips that I have and stuff. I just don't like that Kane is getting this. I'm even with Yasuo. Even though I make really bad mistakes, he made more, more mistakes. But now the mindset is you still were supposed to make less mistakes to carry this game. You get what I mean? Doesn't matter if you make less mistakes now. But it's winnable. Map state is looking good. If I get a pick, we are Gucci. I'm gonna look for this Senna. She's insanely vulnerable. So there is a chance I might find her around there. She might be warding somewhere here. Let me try my luck, okay? They don't know. Nice. Go Magi next. I go Dev bot. I have a bit no mana, so I wanted to reset. This is the, the setup that I'm playing, as you see. I'm just hovering around a bit to make sure they're not gonna die. Yasuo is probably somewhere here. Pay attention to my cooldown of, Injin, of my Shin, of my Leech Bane. It's like one second. In my crown, you should pay attention how fast my crown comes up. And the, the other thing. I mean, the Zonia. All of them are faster cooldown than, than they were normally would be. Because of the Ingenious Hunter. I go Magi, I got Ariska bit in this game to get back. So Ingenious Hunter reduces this all. You can do the math. We are gaming right now. Oh my god, bro. You're getting picked every time, literally. Every fucking time. I'm not gonna fight! But why we are dying like NPCs in the jungle, bro? Why we are dying like NPCs in the jungle all the time? Kane is getting one-shotted. Fast Magi, kurva. It's okay, I'm not angry, I'm not angry, but I'm just like... We can fucking win, but we can't get picked in the forest. Like, just throw ability slugs. Don't do the same mistake five times in a row. It's okay to make mistakes, but a madness is repeating the same mistakes five, tucking, five times, you understand? Don't be like this, slugs. Please, like, learn from this mistake. Put a lot of importance about it. I will stay on this pure, just 20 AP from the Magi. It's winnable. I'm one level till 60. And now imagine if I didn't make those two mistakes, right? On the, during the beginning of the game, I would now be level 16 being able to probably 1v9 this game. I would have so much better flanks. I'm hoping that I will find someone, but maybe they will find me. We know not, we don't know. There is someone, she, she dies. Ward it, bro. <laughs> I mean, they picked first. Now we have a base race, basically. They pick them first. Not much to say. They will prepare for an Asher now. Oh, guys, this game is not the easiest and I'm not getting XP for 16. They are probably somewhere here, yeah. Can we beat them? I will Gwen come or she doesn't like to come much I was about to flash like I don't know I mean I tried because it was possible to try here it's just I don't know why Gwen didn't want to come a bit faster and then I didn't flash I was in my other animation but I could still flash yeah I was supposed to get this wife and get 16 actually that is true my friend crown got a gave a good value in this game for sure the CS doesn't matter, this is just this type of game where you don't have that much CS, plus there was a lot of deathmatch and crazy stuff, we are playing from behind, so could be better if I didn't die for sure a few times, definitely. I won't make it to Elder to get it, but I can cover you bro. He got in my shield, it's 25 seconds if you wonder. I believe Kai'Sa could push one more. Oh, they deal a lot. I need to flash. We lost, my friends. How much AP gives me this? 8 ability power. Okay, I can sell this. 10, 20, 30, 45. Okay, whatever. I'm not sure if I can stall this game. Because they are on Elder too.
I'm just zoning around. I don't want to go in like Kane did. I'm just pretending that I'm going in so I can do some value here. But it's close that I'm going to get exploded in a moment with the Elder. We probably can keep up. Look, that's how you zone the people. Now you zone their back lane. But why is Yasuo getting this all for free, by the way? Okay, I got tapped by the Talia. I didn't notice my bet. Almost 16. Should be way faster in this game, but it's okay. I see Gwen is splitting. Can we win this game? Yes. Let me get, let me get one minion and Trabadons. There is potential definitely to win this game. Who I didn't kill yet? I didn't kill Talia. That makes sense. I'm gonna get Wolves. It's closer to my team. Okay, I will go top. Hopefully they're not gonna die. Game is still winnable. Just one minion, please. Then I'm gonna clear the... I can kill Senna Jin, by the way. Without a problem. Okay. This is big. That's a bit early limit test without me, my friend. But I'm coming. Almost. Go back, we can win. I would like need this blue. Go do it. Nashor is in 130. They go a lot of MR. That's hard. I can't kill Yasuo anymore. I will need void stuff then. I need to get three targets that they are that I can deal with. Senna, Jin, Talia, no one else. But I need to have enough time to do it. Like one good go in with six for 640. If I get a peak, we can win. I just need a peek. I'm not even after CS at this point. I wanna find. But... I'm not sure maybe it's worth it. I will go bot. I go bot. You don't have TP, you don't go bot, bro. Nice. I don't know. I thought I would I would dodge it with the side click, but I didn't dodge it. I should have flashed. Ah, I mean winnable, but can you stall? No need to limit test. You just got our wave clear. You are our only wave clear now, bro. Really no need to limit test. Close. He dies, right? Nice, that's it, that's it, that's it. We have Elder. We get Elder if he doesn't die. And I TP. No, I cannot TP. The word expired. Okay, now the last item will be cos Void Stuff. I go top quite fast to catch the wave, then I'm gonna look insanely fast to look for a pressure on the uh, dragon to find a peak. Play slow. This is peak time of Kasadin because we're gonna play around the dragon and I can find somewhere there. 100% I can find something. I will get their squishies. I'm looking. I know pushing mid is the best, but if one of them dies, it's turbo bad. I trying to find the flank. Golden child. Nice. I push bot now. Just one, quick. And I repeat. We are winning poke wise.
Nice. I'm coming. They got elder, bro. I wanted to flash on Kha'Zix, but... Okay, this likes just smurfed, but we can do this now. I wanted to go on Kha'Zix, but they were rushing the dragon. And I couldn't find a good angle to do it, you know? In time, basically. She might tap me. This fucking Senna might one tap me. I need to one-tap her before she one-taps me. Okay, it's fine. Nice. If I can get a peak right now, we auto win the game. It's a matter of finding a peak in the game. I'm level 18, I'm almost full build. Just matter of finding a squishy in the game somewhere. If I find a squishy, we'll get this. My leech bane is such a low value. I might as well troll this game, you know? I might get a peak or I might just get fucking taken down and we lose. So the question is, where are the wards? Because now it's one death of one of us and the game is over. So that's why I'm really, really careful. And I'm looking all the time, but they have good vision. So you see, I'm like a scout. I don't care about waves, bro. We win, hopefully. I think we win, tell me, please. I just did one bazooka. I'm out, x bait mojo kurva. Push, 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 push. You got wave, we win. GG, 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 We won! Hey. It's been a while since I flexed because I'm a bit still on the cold. That's how we win, guys. This game was turbo bad. It was turbo bad, but a lot of emotions, a lot of explanations, right? And you saw yourself, right? How important it is to have clean early game and how many mistakes opponents will do after the laning phase. So the more consistent you make laning phase, the more... The less you're gonna feed your opponent, the easier it is gonna be later on. In the mid game, it was all about flanks, finding a peak, a lot of hunter mindset and covering my team. Both teammates had up champs that can look for peak on each other. So that was like turbo turbo assassin game. What can I say? I didn't play the greatest, but I got the W this time. The lags that I was flaming actually smurfed in the end. But that doesn't mean she was supposed to die fucking 13 times. The setup was okay. That you could just see Electro with Futures Market and stuff, how it works. Uh, would, was Leech Bane good? Emo, hard to say because I didn't get enough many situations where I could pair my fight with it. But last fight, you saw the bazooka. So I'm glad the bazooka worked. We got the win. Good job, team. Guys, let me know what you want to see in the next video. And for coaching one on one, first link in description metafight.com, Xbait Mojo, one on one coaching, all roles, all champions, all ranks. Thank you. Subscribe. See you next video. Bye bye. I'm going to take a second to recommend working with Exploit Mojo, who has been a terrific coach. I've worked with a lot of coaches over the years. Exploit is far and away one of the best. Thanks for teaching me so much, Mojo.